Hey everyone, Mike here, and welcome to another unboxing. This time around, we're taking a look at Animago's release of Riding Bean on Blu ray. Now, this was actually a project that was funded by fans through Kickstarter in April 2016. The project raised over $130,000, and like all Animago productions, this was a labor of love, both from Robert and the Army Super fans who pitched in. So, before we kick off, I'd like to offer a huge kudos to the folks that made this happen. So, note this is the Supreme Edition we're looking at, which includes this little envelope of stuff that we'll get to in a little bit. Plus this extra Blu-ray that was included due to a bit of a manufacturing error. Now let's take a good look at this bad boy. As you can see the box features a lovely wraparound image of Bean and Rally getting into the signature car, the Bean Bandit. And that little book there we'll get to in just a few moments. But first we need to cut this guy open. And here's the art book, which was actually in there backwards, along with the Riding Bean Blu-ray itself. We'll get to the book in just a minute. But first, let's take a good look at the Blu-ray case. As you can see here on the back, it's got a list of the extras, another nice bit of key art. And on the inside, we have a couple of inserts, plus the disc itself. And as you can see, this here we'll get to in just a moment again. On the inside we have a nice reversible cover with extra pieces of key art. Now again, there was a manufacturing error. The label that's on this disc here is actually for the original DVD release. So let's return to that other Blu-ray and make all things right with the world. There we go, just tear that open, pull out the disc and make the swap. And as you can see, this new disc features the art that mimics the front of the standard case. Now let's put this guy aside and move on to the inserts. First up we have this poster which on one side features a scene from the OVA along with a listing of every single background of the project. If you look around you'll see some pretty big names. And if you look right around there you'll, you'll find me. And on the other side, we have a nice shot of the entire cast, the Bean Bandit, and of course, Rally Vincent's Shelby Cobra. Moving on to the other insert, we have a few little comic strips in black and white. additional artwork as you can see here but the real highlight comes on the other side this is a brand new manga the 
the first entry into this franchise in quite a while, drawn specifically for the Kickstarter by Kenichi Sonoda himself. And now on to the art book. As you can see here, it's got a nice heft to it, surprisingly thick pages, with a good mix of color key, key art. Uh, this here is a little bit of a, an intro from uh, Sonoda Sensei. Some gorgeous pieces of key art. And a hefty dose of cell scans from throughout the episode, throughout the OVA. Then we have pages upon pages upon pages of production artwork that would make any fanboy gush. Now let's turn our attention back to this envelope here. I kind of mentioned it, but inside we have a special patch featuring uh, the Beam Bandit himself and this keychain that was taped surprisingly well inside. Struggled it with the packaging. And there we have it. Just a bit when you realize that the camera can't quite focus, but it's a nice hefty chain, hefty keychain, uh, with Rally and Bean on one side and Buffalo on the other side. All things considered, this is probably one of the finest releases for fans of Riding Bean or Gunsmith Cats. Even the plethora of extras and the gorgeous art book really set this apart and elevated to a fantastic degree. All that's missing are the keys to your very own Roadbuster, which, with enough money, could probably be arranged. Wink, wink.